Good morning, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> today is Sunday, January 10th, and today we celebrate the feast of the baptism of the Lord. Jesus being baptized in the waters of the Jordan, uh, making holy the waters of baptism for our own baptism. And so, brothers and sisters, uh, let us begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son in whom the Father was well pleased. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come then, let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the beloved Son, in whom the Father was well pleased. Sing praise to our Creator, O sons of Adam's race, God's children by adoption, baptized into His grace. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity, Holy God, Mighty God, God immortal be adored. To Jesus Christ give glory, God's co-eternal Son. As members of his body, we live in him as one. <clears throat> Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity, Holy God. Mighty God, God immortal, be adored. Now praise the Holy Spirit poured forth upon the earth, who sanctifies and guides us, confirmed in our rebirth. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided unity. Holy God, mighty God, God immortal, be adored. The soldier baptizes his king, the servant his lord, John his savior. The waters of the Jordan tremble, a dove hovers as a sign of witness, and the voice of the father is heard, this is my son. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, 
and will be forever. Amen. The soldier baptizes his king, the servant his lord, John his savior. The waters of the Jordan tremble, a dove hovers as a sign of witness, and the voice of the father is heard. This is my son. Springs of water were made holy as Christ revealed his glory to the world. Draw water from the fountain of the Savior, for Christ our God has hallowed all creation. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Springs of water were made holy as Christ revealed his glory to the world. Draw water from the fountain of salvation. For Christ, our God, has hallowed all creation. You burned away man's guilt by fire and the Holy Spirit. We give, you, we give praise to you, our God and Redeemer. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You burned away man's guilt by fire and the Holy Spirit. We give praise to you, our God and Redeemer. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the lowly, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to, to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. 
Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Today you revealed yourself to us. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Christ is baptized. The world is made holy. He has taken away our sins. We shall be purified by water and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham. Excuse me. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ is baptized. The world is made holy. He has taken away our sins. We shall be purified by water and the Holy Spirit. Our Redeemer desired to be baptized in the Jordan by John. Let us make this prayer to him. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you made your light shine on us by revealing yourself. Grant us the spirit of humble service to all people. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you humbled yourself and received baptism from your servant to show us the way of humility. Grant us the spirit of humble service to our fellow men. Lord, have mercy. Christ, through your baptism, you cleansed us of every blemish and made us children of your Father. Bestow your spirit of adoption on all who seek you. Lord, have mercy. Christ, through baptism you have consecrated creation and opened the door of repentance to all who prepare for baptism. Make us servants of your gospel in the world. Lord, have mercy. Christ, through your baptism you revealed to us the Holy Trinity when the Father called you his beloved Son and the Holy Spirit came down upon you. Renew the spirit of adoption among the royal priesthood of the baptized. Lord, have mercy. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the intentions of our own hearts, our own desires, hopes, our needs, but calling to mind, too, all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for. And let us offer those sacred words that Jesus himself gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty, eternal God, when the Spirit descended upon Jesus at his baptism in the Jordan, you revealed him as your own beloved Son. Keep us, your children, born of water and the Spirit, faithful to our calling. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. And friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer this morning. Um, as I've said before, it is a, a treasure and a delight for me to be able to bring the Liturgy of the Hours to each of you in this way, and for you to be able to join me again. It is, uh, it is a good thing. So friends, uh, I do hope that you get the opportunity to celebrate this feast day. It is the baptism of the Lord, um, Him making holy the waters of baptism, preparing the way for you and I. Um, so that we can become beloved sons and daughters of the Father. And so, friends, uh, as you celebrate this great feast, whether you are out and about or whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today. But above all, be reminded of your baptismal call to holiness, and remember to be holy today, to live the way of Jesus Christ, the life of Jesus Christ, the truth of Jesus Christ. Friends, may God be praised in you, may God be praised through you today. And I do hope that you have a beautiful day.